Hey, everybody? How's everybody doing? Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen you guys. Gosh, it's been a month. I first have to apologize for not being here. My life is chaotic. But I do think about you guys often and I think about needing to get a video up and then I never do and I've been slacking. I usually am very, very committed and very consistent. On this channel, I have to apologize. I have not been consistent. However, I did make a video and I haven't posted it, edited it yet. Uh, I made a, I made some lobster legs, not lobster legs, crab legs. And I made it my own special garlicky way and I was gonna post that video so you guys can see what I eat with it was like beans and crab legs. So I'll get that up very soon. My intentions for this channel now are gonna move over from not just updates, I'll keep doing some updates when I can, but also um, to cooking for weight loss surgery patients. For all those who are new and don't know what they need to eat from day one all the way up, we are going to talk about food. We're gonna talk about how to eat as a weight loss surgery patient and I may do some recipes for you guys as well. I love for cooking for, channel, for, for you guys. So that is my intention. I just don't know when it's gonna happen. My life, like I said, is very chaotic right now. As you can see, I'm in a hospital. My son was admitted into the hospital. If you wanna find out any updates about my family and my son, we are very consistent on uploading regular daily vlogs um, about our family. And of course, we start beeping. Back in, oh, I also have a thing that I should be celebrating too, but back in July of 2015, July 2nd, 2015, I had the gastric sleeve surgery. So, late, but yay, happy surgery anniversary to me. We passed one year, woo woo. And the bummer is I didn't make it to 135. However, I made it to 138. Three pounds off, I can accept that. Okay, I've decided that I'm gonna be editing this video. I'll just use my phone app and then upload. Okay, because uh, there was a nurse in here and I didn't wanna talk while she was in here. Okay, so uh, let's get started with stats and then we were gonna, we're gonna move on to what it's like a year and a, a year and a month later, almost a month, well, not technically. Okay, a, just a little bit after a year and three weeks, how about that? Um, okay, so July of 2015, July 2nd, I had my sleeve surgery. My starting weight was two, my highest weight was 245, my starting weight was 220, and uh, my surgery weight was 208. I had the pre two week pre op diet through a lighterme.com. It is a Mexico surgery, and you can find out uh, all about my experience by watching some of my earlier videos when I went to Mexico and had my surgery out in Mexico with Dr. Elias Ortiz, who is the bomb. He's the best. And so I do not regret one decision about doing this surgery in Mexico and how much it was. Okay, so back to what I was saying. I had surgery in Mexico with Through Lighter Me with Dr. Elias Ortiz. I do not regret that decision. So a year later, happy surgery anniversary, uh, I am doing quite well. My vitamins are up kept every day. I can eat pretty much whatever I want if I want to eat it, um, and I drink whatever I want. Now, saying that, I don't. There are things that I've, I've learned self-control, and that is one of the number one things you have to learn as a weight loss surgery patient, is to learn how to have self-control, because there are times where I don't have self-control. But for the most part, I have some pretty dang good self-control. Um, Weight loss surgery is not the easy way out, but you have to literally learn how to control your mindset that you are really not that hungry. Are you eat, you gotta look, find out why are you eating in the first place? Are you eating because you need to eat? Are you eating because you want to eat? Are you eating out of stress, out of habit, out of boredom, out of whatever? You need to evaluate yourself when you pick up a piece of cake and say, and go, should I be eating this? And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yesterday, I ate stress ate. I had a piece of cake. Didn't bother me, didn't have dumping syndrome. I ate half the thing, oh my God. 
So I'm up to about three to four ounces, not two to three ounces, which has been normal for the last eight, nine months. But now I can get in three to four ounces. It had My stomach is completely settled in and that's how much I can eat. I, I had today for lunch, I had a bowl of chili with onions and cheese in it. But I couldn't finish it. I always end up putting more my mind is always saying, oh, you're hungry, but then I always end up putting more in than what I should be. I need to weigh all my food, but how can you do that when you're at the hospital or out and about? So uh, their hospital chili is actually pretty good. It was really good. Uh, so I ate that whole thing, and now I feel it, and sometimes I feel it in my esophagus. If I eat too much, I feel it in my esophagus. It's kind of like when you fill a glass of water, and here, here's your esophagus, okay? And, and your stomach stomach esophagus if I go past this and it gets up and it's starting to fill it towards my esophagus I am burping burping I did not do that on purpose I swear I'm burping a lot because I'm full that is my sign to stop eating before surgery I had no sign that I was full in fact I can eat probably three bowls of chili plus on top of that anything else so, plus that cake I had yesterday. <laughs> so, I had no signs or signals telling my brain and telling my stomach that I was full, that I should not eat anymore. I love this. I love the fact that my stomach says, dude, I'm full, stop eating, because I can feel it right here and it starts kind of making me a little bit acidic. I actually love that sign. It really helps keep me in control. So, um, a year after weight loss surgery, hmm, I drank these Aquafina Berry Splashes. I also drank a lot of Propel and a lot of Gatorade too, G2s. And, um, but these are no sugars, no carbs, no proteins, but at least I'm getting my liquid in with taste because with water, it, it has to be extremely ice water um, for me to drink it and I like taste so I'm gonna drink one of these nothing wrong with that and it's very it's very little taste so it's not so bad hold on it's not like too sweet and it's not too less of a sugary taste um, my favorite little snacks right now at while I'm at the hospital hummus oh my god I love hummus my friend Jennifer she made the best hummus and I almost ate the whole thing without chips, without anything. I just could spoon out and eat hummus by itself. Ugh. I'm gonna have to get her recipe, but I didn't realize garbanzo beans could be so delicious. Hello, I never ate hummus before surgery, but now I'm all about hummus. Um, I do eat, those are my downfall. Those are my huge downfall, chips. Oh my gosh, I can eat chips, not have a problem. No, it's so weird because they're like a breaded type of, to uh, tortilla is kind of like a breaded type of thing, right? It's enriched bleach formula kind of thing. Enriched bleach formula. Well, number one, I don't eat rice, pastas, or breads. And every now and then I'll have croutons on my salad, but it's crunchy and I could, it won't soak up as bad. So, but every time I eat a piece of bread, I get sick, so sick which I love because now I don't even crave it. I don't want bread. I don't want pastas. I go downstairs and a lot of people have like spaghettis and noodles and I'm like, eh. I get so turned off from breads and pastas, even rice and rice. I've never really been a fan of rice, so it's nothing new. I don't I never ate a lot of rice, but breads and pastas were my downfall beforehand. And and so I don't, I, I literally do not crave these things. And it just makes me so happy inside that I don't have these cravings like I used to before. Um, every one now and then, all like I said yesterday, I had a piece of cake. It didn't bother me. And, but I choose to stay away for, from it for the most part. Now, when you're as far out as I am and you're as successful as I am, and I'm not trying to toot my own horn, I'm trying to make a point. When you're being as successful as I am when it comes to weight loss surgery, Having a piece of cake or some candy or something that is a little treat every now and then is not going to hurt you. I don't feel guilty about it. Everybody gets to have, even healthy people do this. So uh, people that never had weight loss surgery and they're health nuts, 
they even go out and drink every now and then or have some candy every now and then. There's nothing wrong with that and I want to make that clear to anybody that gets weight loss surgery that when you get to the point where I'm at and you have worked your ass off to get to where you are to be as healthy as you can, piece of cake, uh, Skittles, which is my favorite right now, is not that big of a deal to have every once in a great while. I'm not eating it every day. I'm not consuming junk food every day. I am consuming uh, proteins, high proteins. I love anything crab and lobster, fishy type of things. Oh, and shrimp. I am still eating my Power Crunch bars. Uh, I have an addiction to those, which is great because they're high in protein and low in sugars. Uh, Power Crunch, peanut butter, and vanilla, those are my favorite flavors. I don't like the caramel ones anymore, they were too sweet. Okay, so as far as exercise goes, I'm not really doing anything right now. Every now and then I'll go to like a wall and do some push-ups um, on a wall or on like a side of rail or something as far as that goes. Um, I still have, let me get my arm out for you get my arm out for you so you guys can see my sexy flab. So I do have, I've been working on that, those puppies right there. Work that out, but look at this. What the even heck? <laughs> I don't like wearing tank tops for this very reason, so maybe eventually I will uh, get surgery and get rid of the skin. Uh, skin is makes me very self-conscious, it really does. My stomach, my thighs, don't even bother me. My, my boobs are fine. Um, they didn't sag like most people's. My boobs are still okay. Um, but, uh, my arms, I think, are my biggest pet peeve. And my butt. I want, I want a butt lift. <laughs> Nothing like Kim Kardashian. Don't even go there. Just a simple lift so that way it's not sagging because my butt sags. Okay, so, and then I try to take as many walks as possible. What I'm doing here in the hospital is does not, sometimes does not allow me to be physical. And so my exercising is not up to par. I wish it could be. I'd like to go back to the gym. When Elijah is feeling better, that could happen. We'll see what happens. Everything is a last minute ordeal right now. So uh, as far as that goes, exercising is probably on last on my list, L at least down lower than for priorities. Like I said, I try every now and then to get a walk in or I do some arm exercises. I've been doing a lot of those. Um, oh, new addiction. Okay, so I used to drink a lot of coffee before surgery, but not like I do now. And I stopped coffee for the longest time, especially when I was pregnant with both kids. I didn't drink coffee at all. For like three years, I didn't drink coffee. After surgery, what the even heck? I am so addicted to coffee, it's not even funny. I don't know what it is, but maybe that's my only sugar for the day, I don't know. But my stomach's so used to it now that I can have a whole one of these, but I sip it throughout the day. I don't drink and gulp it. Like, I got the, I got here about nine o'clock this morning. I've been sipping, and it's almost three. I've been sipping on this all day. I don't mind cold coffee. So it's a slow, it's like an IV drip. <laughs> IV drip into my system. Um, but I'm addicted to coffee and they're sugary coffees. I don't recommend these. I'm not a good influence when it comes to coffee, but however, this is what keeps me sane right now. It keeps me awake and it keeps me sane that I absolutely hate black coffee. So I have to have my white chocolate mochas anywhere I go, whether it's Dutch Bros or Starbucks or white chocolate mochas are my serious go-tos. Um, I've had other flavors, but my white chocolate mocha is my favorite, ultimate favorite. So I'm addicted to Starbucks or coffee, period, um, flavored coffees, so, but I sip throughout the day, and it's cold right now, and I don't care. Um, I noticed my pants are starting to get loose, whether I'm, I'm staying at the same size, and people are still saying, are you losing more weight? Because you look like you've lost more weight, and I'm going, no, actually, my poundages, when it comes to poundage, pounds, they're staying the same. Uh, I'm anywhere between 137 at the lowest, to 140. I'm ranging. I'm up and down fluctuating. I'm happy. I am happy. 138 is my average. That's what I see the most on the scales, but I haven't weighed myself in three weeks now. It's been three weeks since I weighed myself. So um, we'll see when I get home in the next month on how much I weigh. 
Uh, stress t makes me tend to eat the bad things, so I don't, I don't doubt that I have gone down. Does that make sense? I don't doubt that I have stayed the same. Anyway, um, however, my pants size have gotten a little bit bigger. That means I'm still shrinking despite my weight. So I'm still a size six comfortably, but in my butt area, my thigh area, it's really loose. And I'm going, do I need to go down to a five? Try to five on too tight. So I'm comfortably in a six. They're a little on the loose side. I, I'm not a fan of loose pants, but I got myself some <laughs> uh, stretchy pants. What are they called? Skinny jeans or whatever. So I've got quite a few pairs of skinny jeans and those are great. I love them. I also got myself some butt lifters so my butt doesn't look saggy in these skinny jeans. <laughs> uh, yeah, and that's a whole nother story. Anyway, I wanted to come in and say thank you to everybody who continues to watch and be inspired by my videos. You guys humble me. I don't sound humbling, do I? But the honest truth, it humbles me to listen to your stories on how I've been inspiring. That's amazing and it really helps continue on keeping this channel going. So I'm here to say thank you to all of you. You guys are amazing and I appreciate you guys watching my videos and keeping updated with me. I know this has been a really long video. I've been trying to talk really fast as much as I can, but I have a lot to update for you guys. Well, happy one year surge anniversary to me. Yeah, July 2nd was my one year surge anniversary, and I am so happy right now. Oh, one really quick thing before I close out. I had some severe stomach pain right up, right, right in here, right in my rib cage area and uh, right below the rib cage and right above the stomach. And so I contacted Dr. Um, Ortiz and he said it could be either gastritis or uh, ulcers. So to take uh, 40 milligrams of omeprazole a day, so I went to the store, got some omeprazole, which is expensive, and I've been taking two pills a day, which are 20 milligrams a piece. And so far it's been helping. So this extreme amount of pain wasn't gas, and I thought it was gas, but it, every time I ate and drank, oh man, it hurt so bad to eat and drink, and a little bit of nauseousness, but not a lot. Um, so I feel a lot better after taking the MF Rosal High. So guys, I am going to say goodbye uh, for now, and I hope to get more videos up for you guys. Let me know in the comments below, do you guys um, enjoy my updates? Uh, or are you guys getting bored with my updates? Do you want more? I also have a challenge tag video that somebody did for me. Who was it? Holy crap. I'm the worst shouter outer ever. I am serious. I'm so sorry. You know who you are. But I have, still have to do that too. Um, so I guess I should get on that and record that. At least I'll have it recorded so when I can get to editing it, I should just edit. Oh, I'm, oh my gosh, I'm slacking. But understandable. Right? Just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I love you guys so, so much. We will see you guys all next time. Ciao. Bye. Hi. Hi. Sure. Have Kaden, I'm in the middle of doing a video. Can you wait just a minute? I'm almost done. It just helps keep me awake. Um. Freaking gosh. Okay, so, um, you're fine. Okay, no problem. What am I going to talk about now? Uh, I just realized I called potato chips tortillas when they're potatoes. And, uh, uh, oh, excuse me. Oh my God. Oh, that was like a throw up burp. It's actually really good. Hey, back. I have no idea what I was talking about. Like, let me turn this down. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not editing this video, so I'll try to be as quick as possible. Gotta press the button.